And one of the main things that I also want to mention and start off uh, about the content side of things is that if you've if you've been using Gitbook for a little bit, you might have heard about some of our features called Gitbook AI. <clears throat> and Gitbook AI is a suite of different features related to a, that have AI functionality that might help you uh, search your content, write your content, or just kind of use your content in general. Um, a lot of these features have been in beta for the last year or so, um, but recently we've brought all of those out of beta and I want to kind of demo and show you how they might be pretty useful for you uh, as a content creator to, to use them in your, in your own day to day. So the first thing that I want to do is start by adding a new variant and show how this might be useful for translations. I'm going to switch to a different organization for us to do this though. Uh, and let's head to this here. So one of the main uh, uses of Gitbook uh, AI, if you haven't seen it, is gonna be our search. Um, if you head to even our own docs, like docs.gitbook.com, you'll find it in the upper right-hand corner. You can search through all of your content uh, by default, just by hitting the search uh, section and, and searching for what, what you're looking for. So if I wanna look for something like Markdown, <coughs> We'll see a list of all the matches that it found for Markdown, whether it's like a header or inside of a paragraph somewhere, and you can click into do this. But I can also ask it a list of questions as well. I can maybe ask something like, what kind of formats can I write in Gitbook? And we can ask it this question, and it should analyze all of the different content and show us a list like this. It's also going to show you a list of the sources, so like formatting your content, markdown, um, and also ask uh, any follow-up questions that you might want to uh, know. So something like, how do I create a code block in Gitbook? Um, and yeah, you'll see a little guide on how to do it there. This is available if you for our pro plans, but it's what I wanted to mention is that it's outside of. Um, uh, outside of beta now, so it's it's fully functional and uh, fully supported in the app. You can enable it from the uh, site settings that we were uh, exploring before. But not only is it going to be available inside of uh, the, the published side of things, inside of the search, we also have Gitbook AI right from the editing experience as well. So if we press this space, you'll see a uh, a list of different ways that AI could be really helpful for you to continue writing or uh, or translating different things as well. So I can either write from scratch or if I want to click this or highlight this, excuse me, and do something like the AI, click the AI button and maybe translate this to, to Spanish. This is going to analyze what we have here and we can then replace it right in like that. Excuse me. So this is going to be pretty useful if you are working on different like translations or want to add translations for uh, specific guides or different things that you're working on. And then again, publish this as a new space uh, underneath the variants that we were looking at before. So you can have it uh, the English or your main language at the top and then different versions uh, that might be translated uh, all from here as well. There's a lot of different other use cases as well that you might have seen. Uh, so we have like things that like continue writing, explain, writing paragraphs about whatever. You can have it also summarize things, explain things. Um, and then again, like the translations that we, we just saw as well. Some of the other things that we have too that I wanna show. Let's check out our... Uh, 
One second here. I actually want to take a look at our own developer docs and show some of the AI features that we have and some of the new features uh, as well. So we can take a look at the um, published side of things for our developer docs. Um, if you want to know what I'm referring to, we have developer.gitbook.com. This is for our developer platform for working on our API, uh, working with our API integrations, uh, and also things like visitor authentication. So some of the more protected side of things for our docs. Um, but some of the cool things that we have uh, AI also enabled for are some of the things that you would have seen when we created the new site as at first as well. Uh, things like our uh, page ratings, search analytics uh, as well. So we can see the good user sentiments and the poor user sentiments. So if your users are um, rating your pages highly, uh, you can go ahead and see which pages you might need to update or add more information to, change around, uh, or also see which ones are performing really well with your users. Um, you also get an overview of page views. Um, you can load more, see all the different views uh, that we have here. Uh, and search analytics. So this is going to be um, a list of things that people are searching from inside of the docs up here. We are definitely planning on updating a lot of this and making this a lot more useful, um, adding more information, more insights and analytics for the different things people are searching for, or just in general, how people are interacting with your sites. If you haven't seen it or haven't used it before, in the upper left-hand corner of the actual uh, editor of Gitbook, you have this um, this search box. And this allows you to search for a lot of different things, basically. Um, you can search through as a semantic search. So if we looked for something like, uh, well, uh, we can just do it right here, I guess. We can look for finance. <clears throat> You'll see the spaces and the different things that we have inside of here. But what we can also do is ask it different questions that uh, might be related to um, all of these spaces that we have inside of here. So I can ask for something like, what tools do we use in finance? And doesn't have a semantic search for it, but we can ask Gitbook AI to analyze it. And it will take a look uh, at through all of the information and give us a big summary of this. Um, <clears throat> and it will also give you the um, a source it was found in. So I, again, added all of these things uh, as references earlier, and that's why it found it. But if we click inside of there, um, you'll be taken to the page and you can read a little bit more uh, in depth because this is just a summary of, of the page and the information that it found here. It, it also is pretty cool because it will give us follow-up questions as well, um, which we can ask. And it will give us some information. And actually, I let's see. Oh, it does give us uh, information about this right here. So basically, found all this and uh, gave it here. 